Are you wondering how to create recurring tasks in monday.com? Well, if that's the case, you've come to the right place because today I'm gonna to be showing you exactly how you can do so. Now, this is the most efficient and the best solution that I have found. So what you do is you first navigate to the board where your task will be recurring. So as you can see here, uh, this is the task that we're going to basically set up on this recurring schedule. I've got a couple of other tasks in here and some, and some columns as well, just to iterate uh, the kind of board that you may have. Now, what you need to do is you need to click on the automate button. This is the first step, the automate button in the top right hand side of the interface when you're in that board. From here, click board automations and then you want to click add new automation. Now, there's a couple of different steps we need to do. The first is define how often we want this task, task to recur. So um, I'm going to select every time period. That's what you're going to want to select here, every time period. And then we need to, so I clicked off of it and I'm clicking back on. And now we need to, to identify and tell monday.com how often this task uh, will recur. So it could be daily, it could be weekly, or it could be monthly. So obviously that depends on your schedule. Let's say as an example, we're going to have this every day at uh, 9 a.m. That's what we're gonna set this up at, okay? So click off of this and you'll notice that it saves. So if you click back on, you'll, you can see. Um, and then what you need to do is select the then do this and we're gonna click create item. Now click an item and now we need to basically set this recurring task up. So the first thing you need to do is specify which group you want it to be included in uh, or yeah, as part of your board. So it could be in my project, it's say this week, but you could have this as say project initiation, project project planning, etc. It depends how you set up your board and where, what group you want your recurring task to be part of. Just select the one that uh, is meet, meets your needs. Then you want to add the name of that task. So in my example, it was something like, um, let's make this task recurring. So I'm gonna use that name. But of course, this is the exact task name you want. Now, what I'd recommend that you do is you just define um, all of the different elements. So these are all of the different columns on your on your board. Uh, and in your table. So it's great to have your table set up um, by default and uh, that way you can pull in all of these uh, at this stage. So as an example, I want this recurring task uh, to be um, working on it as an example. I want, uh, I'd leave the due date out or you could put a due date if your recurring task will always have the same due date. You can set a priority, let's say it's a medium priority. You can add some notes if you want every recurring task to have this note. You can set, say something like budget. But as I say, this is, this is related to my particular board. This will depend on your needs. Um, but yeah, what I'm trying to suggest here is just maybe add some, you can have this as a completely blank, but if you did want the task that's recurring to have kind of pre-added data, then you can set that up here. And then once I've, once you've done that, you can just click off. Uh, if you click on it again, you'll notice it's, it's all saved and then just press create automation. And you'll notice here, um, you can even add a description for your own reference uh, and it has an off on toggle. So it's on at the moment, but if I close this off, um, obviously this is set up for us. Every 9 a.m. it's gonna create this new task. If I wanted to turn that off, you'd simply go on automate, board, automa board automations, and then you could just toggle it off. Or you could delete it. But if you click this, this options button, you have the ability to duplicate the automation. You can save it as a template if you wanted that on various different boards. Um, you can delete it, etc., etc. But I hope this video is useful. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop it down below. And with that said, all of the best with monday.com.